going on? It is your boy Brendan, and it is early. I got terrible sleep last night. I am live inside the thrift store. We're gonna do what we do. You guys know how it is. Um, where are we at? The middle of March, towards the end of March, almost April. Isn't that crazy? Uh, yeah, I find that insane. But um, we're here doing the things. So let's get sourcing. I'm still looking for things that are going to be unique. I'll take all of the bread and butter I can find if that's all I can find, but I'm really looking for stuff that is gonna be new to me. I'm gonna to try to learn as we go here, and hopefully I find some unique things that uh, you and I can both sort of uh, discover together. So let's, let's get shopping. I don't know, you know, this Jim Shore Shore Lights Lighthouse, I saw it sold for like 30, it was a pre-owned one, for $32 with like 10 or $11 shipping, but it had the sticker on the bottom, even though it was being sold as pre-owned, and this one doesn't. The problem I'm having here, it's even at $6, is I see solds in like the $10 range also. You know, $12, $10, and then there's that one outlier. I like being the outlier. I don't mind being the outlier, but I don't have the sticker on the bottom. So, so should should I try to get this at 20, maybe 25, maybe a little bit less? This is the type of decision I really don't like making because it's super in between. There's a good number of them listed. My instincts are just telling me no, and I'm gonna trust my first instinct, even though I could probably sell this for $20, 25, which would be great on six, but if my initial instinct is saying leave it, I'm gonna leave it. So that's what I'm gonna do. And I'm, I don't, I never maintain that that decision is the right decision, the best decision all the time, but it's the one that I'm gonna make and it helps speed me up when I'm sourcing rather than fumbling over every decision and spending all this time thinking, should I do this, should I not do this? I'm gonna put it down, trust my initial instinct and that's it, I'm gonna move on. So let's peek at a few more of these things. Yo, no problem, man. Um, yeah, I'm leaving that for somebody else. Got some interesting Thanksgiving pilgrim type figures here. This is not an area that I excel in, but I do look at it often. In fact, I look at it a lot more now than I ever have, just in the interest of trying to learn, you know? You know well, constantly learning. So whether you're watching me or listening to me or you're in stores, in the app, and doing these same types of things, this is the way I like to learn is just picking basically everything up, especially when stores are slow. And you get lucky when you do that. Check this out, this will be new to me. It's great because we've got spring and summer coming up. Tosi Ultimate Disc LED Frisbee. They have $6 on it. What color? Oh, it's purple. And I, it, I like hit the button on the back and it was not lighting up, but it looks like there's a place to charge. And I, I have a USB-C at home, so I might just buy this and charge it. I'll have them mark this in electronic, because if it lights up and it and it works properly, it looks like these sell anywhere from $30 to $50 brand new. There's a bunch listed under Tosi Ultimate Discs, so I don't know, maybe I'll sort by the UPC code or whatever, or by color, but six bucks, if I could get even 40 for this, this would be fantastic. I wonder if this is light enough. This is actually light enough to ship first class. So it'd be like four or five dollars to ship, which is great. And it's even better because there's not a ton going on over here in the toy section. Let me give you a bird's eye view of what I'm looking at. And I don't see anything else. I saw passing by, there was a Bop It. This looks like an updated version of it. Bop It Extreme, but it's broken right there. So, I don't know if that would have had any value or not. I bet it does. I mean, they're smart to continuously update them and sell them because it's so popular. The vintage one is so popular. And you folks know that, I think, by now, just by watching. What is this? Soda Okoye from Black... Oh, Wakanda Red with Black Panther. Yeah, there's not, a, there's not a ton going on here. So with just that one Frisbee... I'm happy with that. I hope you're happy with that too. We have on the floor, anything? What is this? Michael Jordan McDonald's toy. Fitness fun. You don't see that that often. It was a bobblehead. What is this? I don't know who this is. AIA, there's no 
player bobblehead? Well, who is it? I don't, I don't know what this is. Tottenham Hotspur Football Club. I don't know. I'll look this up. I do well with bobbleheads. They got $6 on it. If it's anything, I will be sure to put comparables on the screen for you fine folks. Oh, look at this. Sriracha the game. This is fun. $3.99. Brand new sealed. Hmm. Yeah, I'll look this up too. Is Sriracha still out? You know, they were having problems sourcing, like the company that makes the the one that's the most popular, Sriracha sauce, they, the pepper was becoming, I don't know, obsolete, hard to find, I'm not sure. And that's what was causing the shortage. Have they caught up yet? Or is Sriracha still a bolo, the actual sauce? I don't know. I'll look this game up. If it's worth it, I'll throw it in my cart. And if not, we will put it back. I have a tendency to sort of glaze over milk glass, but this is Hazel Atlas. And they sell, I mean, they sell year round. Obviously the velocity is gonna be a lot slower in March and April, but this style is different than the like Tom and Jerry ones that I was looking up on uh, the eBay app. So this style with just the Christmas tree, some of the hanging ornaments, and there, there's not a single, I mean, these are look, these are in mint condition. No chips, no cracks. This isn't the type of glass I think that would craze, but you know, maybe, maybe it, maybe it would, but there's nothing wrong with them. And I think I can still get $15 for each of them. And I'm not really worried at this point if they um, will sell or not, because I know they will. So it's just a matter of time. But yeah, I'm gonna grab those, I think 15, in between 15 and $25 per, at least that's what I saw or I noticed when I was looking up the solds. But I'm grabbing them, I know we're far out from the holiday, but I still look for holiday glasses and those kind of stood out. So Glass Bake, um, Pyrex, Anchor Hockey, they're all doing milk glass, but that Hazel Atlas one in that style, I think is going to sell, so. Not really interested in looking at any of this glass. Let's keep moving. Let's go over here. Chicks dig scrawny pale guys. Well, listen, I got news for you. I'm both pale and scrawny right now. You guys would be, I'm actually embarrassed to tell you how much weight I've lost so far in 2024, but I've gotten all clear. I'll talk about these pieces in just a second to get back into the gym in early April. So all my back issues, the nerve issues that I was having, um, and then I had a uh, small medical procedure. I'm gonna talk about that and try to encourage men who would be on the fence about having done what I had done to go ahead and pull the trigger because it was definitely worth it on my end. So now that I'm able to get back into the gym, get some rehab going, I'm gonna feel a lot better about myself, tell you that. Um, anyway, two things I'm gonna grab here. I grabbed them off of that rack right there. Fairty, Fairty, Faherty. Not everything from that brand is gonna be amazing. I think these are the dream pants though. They're like wide leg linen, gray. And I think I can get $30 for these. These pants are going to be $4.99. The jeans here are $8.99, but I think these are only gonna be five bucks. So I think I can get 30 for them. They're actually not, I thought they were linen originally. It's just organic cotton, but I'm gonna pick them up. Style looks like it's a winner. And then this is just a basic men's Lululemon polo. I haven't looked up the style, but I, I do way better with Lululemon men than I do the women. The women's stuff gets hard for me to identify and I get annoyed by it and then that's why I do giveaways because uh, I can't waste my time on looking this stuff up. This one should be a little bit easier to identify. Let's just say $30 on this shirt too, 25 to 30 and I think this also will cost me $4.99. So let's roll with both of those pieces. I'm really trying not to source a ton of clothing right now because I'm good. I've got a lot of it. I want more hard goods but I'm gonna tell you what, the store I walk into, the one I shop at here, this location, the Sawmill location, specifically um, Sawmill Road, they, the hard goods have been really hard to come by, so I'm just gonna take what I can get. But I think those two pieces are good here. I actually, let me talk about these. These would have been good for these Vapormax, about 50 to $60, but I'm leaving them behind because they have, look at the heels the discrepancy in the wear, but then there's a big chunk. Where's that big chunk? See this chunk? Like, I don't think I can get away with that, nor would I want to sell that to somebody. So it's too bad because these are, these are a good style and they're a good seller. But to me, they are worth zero. 
so let's leave them behind. But the hard goods in this location specifically have been really hard to come by. They're just in a slow period. It is what it is. Hopefully spring cleaning will start happening soon and people will start dumping stuff and we'll get more of an option. Here's some Vejas here. They don't have the, they don't have the laces. Maybe I'll look these up. I really, again, I don't want to pick a pair of shoes up that doesn't have laces these days. I could swap them out for something but I would want the originals. So I don't know, maybe these are a pickup with other places, maybe not, but hard goods are hard to come by in here. So we just gonna take what we can get. Found this Xbox 360 game. What is it? I don't even know, TDU2, Test Drive Unlimited. I don't know, who knows, I scanned it. It's probably $15, but it looks like it's complete and it, they don't have these marked up. So I think, I don't know if media is $2.99. Games are $2.99 here, three bucks. So, at the most, I'll get 15, but you guys will not believe this. So I saw on Marketplace a, a woman who had just posted an Xbox 360 system for sale for $15. And I thought, you know what? That's a system that I used to have and I sold it somewhere along the way. And so I need another one just more so for testing purposes like than anything. And this is, game would be a good example of that. So I get to the door and she proceeds to tell me that her dogs or dog had just gotten sprayed by a skunk, which is pretty disgusting. And I guess I didn't really notice it at the time or think about it, but I was like, oh, that's unfortunate. Okay, you know, give me my stuff and I'll be on my way later. I get home and what happens? What do you, what do you think happens? The 360 smells like a skunk. And I'm thinking to myself, you know what? I am absolutely done with people on Facebook Marketplace. So it was just one of those spur of the moment pickups for me. But I, I feel like the last two or three purchases from people on Marketplace, like they're not being totally honest. So like clearly she was just like clearing out basically everything in her house because it smelled. So I'm assuming that that's the case, but the thing stinks. The controller smell, the console smells, I can't have that in my house, so I'm just gonna dump it, but I'm like, you know what, I'm, I'm over you people. I'm done with Facebook Marketplace. I don't know, do you guys, have you guys had a bad experience on Marketplace or consistently bad, like I seem to be having? If you do, let me know so that I know I'm not alone, but I just thought that was like really poor, poor form, uh, so. If we're talking about Facebook Marketplace, I quit. I might give this a shot. I've never heard of this brand before, Koyuchi. So it's brand new with tags. It is a medium romper. It's a gray romper, but I'm not really familiar with this. So they have it marked at $15, but I see one listed. I don't remember what size it was in like the $50 range. So maybe I'll do the same. Maybe I'll list in the $50 range. What I saw is only one listed that I could find in this style and five or six of them had sold, but they were all pre-owned and they were like pretty low dollar solds. So this has me hesitating a little bit, but it's a little bit slower today. So I might just do it, even though I'm paying $15. You know, if I can get 50 in spring and summer coming up, not knowing anything else about this brand, um, I'm gonna grab it. So I can't really tell you if this is a pickup or not, but I'm gonna try it and test it out. Just because, you know, I don't wanna walk away with uh, hardly anything. So let me show you the tag one more time. Solstice Organic Romper in Deep Graphite Gray. Koyuchi, 15 bucks. I don't know. Let's try it. All right. That was not a bad haul. I think what we're going to do next is head home. I might jump into the basement really quickly and we're going to take a look at it's very briefly. It's still windy out here. Holy smokes, man. Uh, let's take a look at some of the little cell boxes. I'll give you a, maybe a little bit of, of a sneak peek on some of the items that I'm going to be adding to them. So let's take a look at that next. All right, we're in the dungeon. Here's a sneak peek. I see a pair of very clean hokas in this box. A Lululemon XL polo shirt. Flint and Tinder under that one. Let's look at the next one. Next one looks like it's got a very nice Patagonia puffer. Next box here, Dribble Up Basketball, such an easy seller in that one. Looks like another pair of very nice hokas down there in that box. And there's a, there, there's tons more that uh, I'm just simply not alluding to. What is this? A pair of A Gold D jeans in that one. Lots of really nice stuff. Here's one 
Um, you just recently saw me source this Dooney and Burke. I might have the leather cleaned, but I might not. So no guarantees on that, but that's going in a wholesale box. I've also added that really nice old tartan Pendleton robe that I sourced at the bins recently. Um, it's coming soon. And as a friendly reminder, if you want to be notified first about the wholesale boxes, you have to go to my website, dad-planet.com. Scroll all the way to the bottom. I think there's an opportunity or a little field where you can input your email address. You can also go to the Contact Me page. Put your email address in there too. If it's asking you for your phone number, I don't need your phone number, but I'm going to email people first when those boxes go live. And then very shortly after that, I'll notify the rest of my YouTube audience first. But email list first, followed by YouTube. And that's it. That's all I've got for you. Thanks so much for tuning in. Brennan here, Dad Plant, The One Man Show. My kid and I, maybe we'll go see a movie. I don't know. We're going to figure it out, but we're going to do, go do dad stuff now. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you in the next one.